Musically Yours with your host, Latria Kimberly, on 1570 AM. Smooth, contemporary gospel. Listen up.
Wilson. It's done, and guess what, you all? She is on the line. Anita, how are you doing, darling? I am very well. Latria, how are you doing tonight? I am great, and I'm glad to have you on my show. I am glad to be on your show. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. I know various things as far as like you're one of the music directors there at Fellowship and you sing with the choir there. And and now what prompted you to step out on your own to do your own project? Well, I was just led by God to do it. Um, I've, I've been on the fence about doing it for a number of years at this point. Mm-hmm. And... Um, you know, there were there were there were spurts of time where I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna do it and then there were others where I was like, No, nah, everybody and their grandmama is doing a CD so mm-hmm. I'm like, No, I'm good. I'm gonna gonna do what I do, um, at church but, you know, when God impresses upon you to do something you you know it, you don't have any doubts about it and mm-hmm. um I was uh, I had feelings like, Well no, I ain't trying to be the next star. I'm not really trying to be the next you know, big thing or sell millions of records or whatever. And mm-hmm. I heard God say as, as plain as day, he was like, oh, okay, so if you don't sell millions of records, then you don't want to do it, huh? Mm. And I was like, okay, God. You know, he was like, what if I've, I've called you to bless, you know, a, a couple of hundred people as opposed to millions and millions of people? You don't want to do it at that point? You know? Wow. Yeah, that was, that was life-changing and that kind of, that depth, you know, kind of, it definitely, you know, put me in, in a space of um, just knowing that, okay, all right, well, I'm, I'm about to do this. God is telling me to do this and I'm going to do it. And uh, a lot of people ask me about my plans for the record and... Mm-hmm. My answer for that is simple, just I want it, you know, I'm going to do all that I can for it to go as far as God has ordained for it to go. Mm-hmm. So, you know, whoever that, mm-hmm. uh, wh- whoever is in the plan to be, to, to, to be a blessing to, then that's exactly what I want to do. So I'm mm-hmm. just following God for every step of the way. Mm-hmm. Which is a yeah. good desire. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Well, tell me a little about, a little bit about this um, song, It's Done. It's done. The Lord gave me that song um, at this point, uh, uh, maybe about a year and a half ago. And um, it's really been a blessing to me. And um, I began to sing it at Fellowship. I taught it to the music ministry at Fellowship. Shout out to Fellowship and Pastor Jenkins (laughs) and all my ship family. Yes, to the ship. (laughs) Yeah, to the (laughs) ship. Um, but, you know, we began to sing that on Sundays at Fellowship. And, you know, it's something when you you write a song, because I guess a songwriter, you know, uh, you, a songwriter thinks that all of their songs are good. You know, so it sounds good. They sound good to me. But it was just really a blessing when I taught it and we began, began to do it on Sunday. Mm-hmm. And it was a blessing to the people. And they really attached um, to the lyric of the song, which basically... Um, reminds the listener, it doesn't matter what your situation looks like at the present time, we are people of faith, and we're always supposed to look through the eyes of faith. So even if you don't see what you've been praying for, believing God for, you know, what you see could be a total mess, could be total chaos at the present time. But, you know, looking through the eyes of faith, my eyes may not see it, but by faith I do receive it it will manifest. So you encourage yourself every day. Mm-hmm. People tell me that it's a good treadmill song, it's a good workout <laughs> song, or morning devotion, or the drive, or the mm-hmm. right to work. You know, what I shall be, I already am. It's All done. Right. God has worked it out. So it's, it's very motivational, and it just reminds us that, you know, God is always working on our behalf, and, you know, everything really does work together for our good if we continue to live according to what God has called us to do for his purpose and for his glory. So it's it's encouraging. It's encouraging when you listen to it and it's motivation.